The situation at the St. Mary's Hospital in Gilgil is something that we'll continue to keep an eye on for you. Now, detectives in Mombasa are investigating a syndicate where three Indian and seven Nepalese girls were arrested Thursday night and later released on Friday night on allegations of human trafficking. The 10 ladies working at a popular nightclub in Nyali are said to have been brought into the country illegally to work as barmaids and entertainers. Lawyers representing the accused, however, say the 10 have legal work permits, insisting authorities were being compromised by rival business operators to frustrate their clients. KTN's Francis and Tomo has the update. The 10 foreign barmaids working at Shama Club Nyali were on duty Thursday night when a new show guest came calling. Police acting on a tip of moved in, arresting the women. Three Indians and seven Nepalese on allegations of human trafficking and being in the country legally. The desperate ladies were taken to custody before being arraigned before the Shanzu law courts. I'm the daughter of Jamadin and Javeddin who are right now at Nyali police station arrested for a, for a false case that, is, that they've stated is human trafficking. If it was human trafficking, the girls, we had their contracts, we had their visas, we had their work permits, and the girls agreed in the court that they want to stay with us and they don't want to stay with the, with the police. They want to continue working. Wait, let, let her finish and then I think. They want to continue working with us. But these police officers, they, as soon as the magistrate said that uh, they are released, we came out and these guys appealed to the high court and they didn't let us go. We were locked over here. We are locked over here from 4 o'clock. Represented by city criminal lawyer Cliff Mbeta, the 10 denied the charges and claimed to possess legal documents that allowed them to work in Kenya. The court ordered them to be released, but police held them throughout the day at the courts until further orders were made from what the sources claim are higher authorities. I spoke to the Inspector General himself. The Inspector General, Mr. Boynet, I spoke to him on phone and he, can know, he agrees that. I told him that this was impunity. I told him we have been locked in. And until this moment, he has done nothing yet. He was telling me oh, I'm giving him long, long paragraphs. Long paragraphs on rights of people. They can be even pages, they can be even textbooks. But if rights of persons are being infringed, it does not matter whether it's a paragraph or one word. So what has he done until this particular moment? He stuck his head like a, an ostrich in sand. He has not even called back. And what happens thereafter? More policemen come to reinforce uh, the other officers. Is that what he did? He even 